Hello, I'm Scott Brady with Overland Journal and Expedition Portal. I'm out here in Prescott, Arizona today with a very unique trailer. Now this comes in from Australia. It's made by a company called Bruder, and this is their EXP4. Now, what makes this very different from their other model, which is the EXP6, is it's much smaller, single axle, and designed for very remote and very technical terrain. And there's some really interesting things about it. We're gonna go around the trailer and talk about all the individual systems. But one of the things that I think is really interesting is that it's independent, long travel airbag suspension. So with this remote in my hand, I can lower the trailer and I can raise the trailer. Pretty amazing, right? So we're gonna go around the trailer and we're gonna check out all of these unique systems. It's, it's not only very robustly built, but it's really designed for true backcountry travel. So it'll be really interesting to see how this does on our test track today. So really the key to this Bruder EXP4 is the suspension. So we have dual shock absorbers with a remote reservoir for fluid capacity. And then we've got a, a large diameter, large volume Firestone airbag that gives a significant amount of travel, upwards of 12 inches. One of the things that I like about it too is it has this manual shutoff. So if you had a leak somewhere in the system, you could get the airbag up to pressure and then shut it off um, and then only turn the compressor back on when you needed to top it off. So that's a pretty unique feature as well. Um, it's all controllable uh, by this small remote here. Pull the thing open and then it, it will let air out or add air to the system. It's made by Airbag Man, which is a fairly well-known and well-respected uh, organization in Australia. And then there's some other components of the suspension that I appreciate as well, including the ability to do a full alignment of it. So it's got alignment concentric rings on, on the various attachment points for the control arms, um, and overall a very robust and well-built system. So I think it would provide long service and high level of performance as well. Now that we've talked about one of the coolest features of the trailer, which is the suspension, we're gonna talk about the next coolest feature of the trailer, which is the inside. This trailer is really nice. It looks like the inside of a small sailboat. Uh, and it's very much centered around this queen size mattress. Now this is a proper coiled mattress that you would find in your home. So extremely comfortable night after night of sleeping in the field. And then a lot of very bright color in here too. Like so white and light gray, which makes it feel uh, airy and, and bright even in this uh, darker afternoon. Really nice lighting uh, features as well. Um, along with two fans, that way each person can get uh, the amount of airflow that they want. And then it's got a fantastic style fan in the ceiling that would move a ton of air um, if you had these zippered doors or the full doors closed and the window cracked. So you get a lot of airflow. I think it would be quite comfortable even in the summertime. The trailer has the turn overland style windows and they have a couple key features to them. You can do a full privacy screen and then it also has bug screens as well so that way you can get a lot of airflow in or you can even do a little bit of a combination of the two which is very clever so you can run it up and down on either one so in the top part of this cabinet we have the glycol loop and this is the tank for the fluid and then there it completes a, a fully enclosed loop that then ties in with this small radiator the fan that's on the back of the radiator is what blows into the sleeping area and keeps you warm at night. So in the rear of the trailer, it's a typical teardrop style kitchen, uh, which is actually large and, and fit relatively spacious. In fact, I would say it's a little bit bigger than the one that I had in my first apartment. But we've got a Dometic traditional door style fridge. Uh, you compromise a little bit of overall storage space, but it makes it much easier to access the food than it does in a chest style fridge. And we've got a Dometic two burner. Uh, this is a typical propane style 
range, which is, I think, really useful in North America, and it is pretty easy to access propane around the world. Then we have a small sink, a uh, nice deep sink, but not doesn't take up too much of your counter space. And then a couple cabinetry, but it's a really nicely appointed large kitchen overall. So one thing that is pretty unique about this trailer is it uses a Hydrostar system for the braking. It has uh, a, com a complete set of disc brakes, which is unusual for a trailer. They're typically drums. And this is electric over hydraulic, so it gives a lot of the same braking feel and performance of your automotive braking system. So this is a very high-end solution, and it gives for much better modulation and overall braking performance than you would get out of a drum system that you would typically find on a trailer. And then it also has an integrated parking brake, which is also a little bit of a rarity on a trailer. So if you uncouple it from the vehicle, you can just set the parking brake and off you go. So the trailer uses a system called a McHitch. It's actually very clever the way that it docks within this coupler unit here and then locks in place with a cross shaft. What makes it very suitable for rugged and remote terrain is this CV style, um, universal joint style uh, coupler and that allows it to move in any direction and then there's a shaft that goes through into the front part of the trailer that allows it to roll uh, completely so you can get at very extreme angles with the trailer. So now that we've looked at all the systems on the trailer, let's see how it does on the trail. Now that I've used the Bruder trailer, and I've used it here in Arizona, and I've also used their trailers in Australia, and they really are quite unique. They really have this emphasis towards performance, and we can see that in the terrain that we pulled it through today. Just the fact that you can adjust the suspension on the fly, depending on the angle that the trailer is at, you can level it out. You can also do that when you get into camp at the end of the night. So this, this unit is packed with a lot of technology and it's packed with a lot of performance. Now normally that would make me a little concerned about durability and reliability, but Bruder has been making trailers long enough and they've been using them in remote conditions in Australia long enough to kind of learn what's going to be an issue or what's going to start to fail. So obviously I have not had enough time with the trailer, I've not used it for months out in the field to give an ultimate indication of reliability and durability, but initial considerations are very positive. Uh, but overall, it's quite fun to, to tow. In fact, it's I'm towing it with a, a diesel Wrangler right now, so this trailer is within the load capacity or the towing limits of the Wrangler, so it's hard to find lighter trailers with this amount of comfort and this amount of performance. So overall, initial considerations towards the EXP4, very positive.